all righty boys and girls i am back a little while ago i made a couple videos in this exact spot and caught a good amount of walleyes and while that was a while ago for you guys it's the same day for me i'm gonna head downstream i just got done catching a good amount of walleyes right below these falls about hooked about eight or nine caught a few and caught a couple other random species but there's been a lot of big swirls downstream and uh yeah we're gonna continue on this adventure maybe do some waiting maybe do some crawling down the rocks and see if we can't catch something big or just something at all stuff and things but out. all righty boys and girls sometimes as a youtuber you find something good and um yeah you don't want to just like make the same video over and over again at the same spot or at least i don't there's a lot of thinking that goes into this youtube i know that doesn't look like i'm much of a thinker and i'm not but every once in a while i consider things and um yeah hopefully the videos from before from here were like a month ago you guys will know more than i will but same day just got done fishing here there's been all sorts of swirls down the way and i do have to uh leave in a couple hours but figured i'd just kind of walk down the creek and see what we can't catch along the way there's a ton of walleyes here and then a couple videos before the last video it gets all confusing when i do this that's why i don't do it i just post them right when it happens but a few videos before that we caught walleyes real good down the way off a little jetty so uh yeah we're gonna uh, fish a jetty we haven't fished. Fish the same jetty over again and see if we can't catch any walleyes. Also, Johnny Boy has been catching some big ass fish too that I haven't managed. So we'll throw around a swim bait, maybe a jig head crawler and see what we can't catch over the next couple hours. Come along with me, see how it goes. Stuff and things, buff out. Man, my intros are normally pretty rough, but when I'm recording a video that I know I'm gonna post at a later date, it really messes me up. Like I tried to record an ice fishing video one time from like the previous season. I'm not sure how them Canadians do it because it just makes me feel all funny inside. And while I feel funny inside, I think this is gonna be worth it. We wrecked them here, we wrecked them down the way. And there's kind of a middle ground that we haven't even made a cast at yet. So I think instead of wading through this shallow poopy water, it's the water treatment plant by the way, it's warm water. Might be actually colder water than the water temperature now, but it's warm water in the winter. And it smells terrible, but I'm gonna climb up and then we're gonna climb back down at this jetty down the way and see what we can't catch. See you there. Luckily for you, you don't have to climb through all this tall grass like I do. You guys are lucky. There's a lot worse things than tall grass, but sometimes late summer, getting to some of these places I fish is kind of brutal, but worth it and stuff. hammered holy shit that's a giant that is a giant long nose gar giant absolute giant i want him to stay hooked that is huge that is huge on the divine swim bait i caught one long nose gar bigger than this but i snagged it when we were in missouri but this will definitely be my biggest ever that actually hit it it hit it hard too. It hit it like a walleye. Oh shit. I'm actually kind of terrified. <sighs> Johnny Boy said. Hopefully you guys saw that. No. Johnny Boy said he saw a giant long nosed gar and he kept trying to catch it and couldn't. And that was him. That was like a 10 pounder. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. My likelihoods of landing him weren't very big, but I was trying to retain some hope. Thought I had him hooked pretty good, but he just shook his head the right way. Not too often do I care if I lose fish. And while long nose gar aren't that exciting, I think they're pretty cool because I've only caught a couple. Ball sacks, absolute ball sacks. Definitely a lot more fish down here and a lot bigger fish though. So I'm feeling pretty confident, but I wish we could get that one back. <sighs> Painful. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw it. I was, my body was kind of turned, so I probably didn't do the best job at showing it, but that sucker was big dog. Absolute big dog. I'm gonna keep throwing this bigger swimmer for a little bit, but like I already said, I think sun's high. 
the minnows around here are a lot smaller than this so downsizing is probably gonna be beneficial keep getting bumped by smaller fish on this probably gold eye but fudge man oh man There's just a silver carp right there. Any hoodles, time to downsize. Gar messed up my swim bait, hook's still good, but. God dang it. Dang it. I wanted him. I wanted him, but we're a long way from getting him in. Gar bite treble hook baits, you can keep them, keep them hooked pretty good, but. Single hooks, you really gotta get them good. And their mouths are just so bony that it's easier said than done. Probably gonna fish the tiny jig head the rest of the time. Bounce between a swim bait and a night crawler and see what crappens. See what crappens. Rip to my PB gar and stuff. Hammered. Drag too loose, but hammered on the swimmer little whale eye smallest one we've caught but first one of this video so we'll take it definitely not as good don't you know how you like do good at a fishing spot and then you go back and it's just not as good that's just kind of how it works that is definitely the case still a shitload of fish here that we just have to figure out how to catch tons of short nose gar which we don't want but that long nose gar would have been nice. And there's a bunch of other various things swimming around that I have no idea what they are, but they're pretty big. There's like a little large mouth again. There was just something white and shiny that attacked the minnows down there. But yeah, we're gonna have to get creative, I think. We are gonna have to get creative and stuff. All right, switch to the most natural presentation I could think of the swim bait kind of stopped working the old plain hook split shot crawler saw a big ass something or other sitting there so i dropped right down and the gold i got it but we'll take his ass big something still sitting there but i think he's a little spooked now can't beat the old crawler boys and girls especially when the fishing's kind of tough obviously we did we did real good here on artificials and swim baits and obviously still have that fish. <laughs> Damn bail opened again. Um, but yeah, I did real good on swim baits, artificials. And uh, between me and Johnny Boy fishing here and just the time of day, switching to the uh, crawler and uh, split shot and a plain hook. Obviously is working. Two casts, same spot I've been casting my jig head. Instantly smoked by gold eye. Obviously the hopes and the goals is to catch something bigger than a gold eye, but at this point in the day, it's getting hot. They fight pretty good. And in my opinion, for the most part, a bite's a bite. A bite is a bite. I knew the damn gold eyes were there. I saw them flashing. They just didn't want to eat the swim bait for some reason. Even though it looks more like the minnows that they're eating than this does, they did not really want it. When I was walking down here looking down, there's a shitload of big stuff up that way, so we're gonna have to throw down those rocks eventually. But for now, we'll keep throwing down the front of this. So when you can see fish, I mean, sure, it's fun to look at them and try to cast at them and try to catch them, but the majority of the time, you don't catch them. So in my opinion, your odds are better in this deep pool that you can't, you cannot see them. They can't see you and they're just a little dumber. More dumb, dumbest, stupider. And you will keep trying it and see what happens and stuff. That is a fish. I didn't know what was going on. He didn't quite thump it as hard. Little whale eye. I swallowed it because I wasn't paying attention. That's the one bad thing about this rig is you don't feel quite as much. So I do swallow it fairly frequently, but I can still see the hook in this dude. So 
This shouldn't be too much of an issue. Even the whale eyes love the crawler. A little bit more fun catching them on swim baits, but catching them on a crawler is better than not catching them at all. Gots it. Like I said, didn't really feel the bite. My, my bait just kind of stopped floating downstream. Felt a little bit of a uh, little bit of tension, but not much. Let's try again. Something big to the left. We're gonna have to cast there eventually, but for now we're doing this and stuff. What do we got here? Drum bud. I don't even know what species. Gold eye, wall eye, drum bud. What else? Large mouth? Must a long nose? Species number four and a half. Fun stuff. Yep. Man, I just like this kind of shit, you know? You get a bite out of a poopy old creek and you just don't know. You don't know. I've gotten pretty good at guessing, but you just, you, you don't know for sure, you know? You just don't know for sure. We got about 30 more minutes. Hopefully I can catch a big walleye, hook that gar again, or uh, just something, something a little bit bigger in general. Something I have to chase down the creek is what I'm going for. Let's see if we can make it happen. Crawlers and stuff. Got to tie my shoe and such. We'll just let it drift on its own. Hopefully my pole doesn't get ripped in. We good. We good. And more stuff. Decent whatever it is. I think it's a walleye. Last video I recorded here, I was like, man, I bet if I threw the crawler, I could catch a few more dozen fish. No, drum fish, but they hit like walleyes. Catch another dozen or so fish, but that day I didn't really need to because I uh, caught a lot of fish already and caught a lot of decent fish, so I just skipped the crawler last time. The crawler is saving the day today. Nothing too, too exciting, but something's better than nothing, as I always say. Something is better than nothing. Ain't even that big, but he sure was scrapping. Sure was scrapping. Night crawlers are by far the best bait to tell you what lives in the place. Holy hell. There was just a lot of something that went ballistic up here. Probably silver carp though. But yeah, night crawlers are literally the best thing to tell you what lives in the place especially a place like this. They're not necessarily as effective in like lakes, but creeks, rivers, streams, they are king. They are king. All right, I'll shut up now. See if we can get something big. And uh, yeah, go from there. Go from there and stuff. That's decent. I always preach how good the jig head crawler is, boys and girls. The only thing that might be better is the single split shot rig. We got species number five and a half. The hardest fighting, angriest fish in the river the common carp that just ran into a 10 pound something. Later friend. Later friend. 
All right, I'm gonna throw up a montage of what we catch. If we catch something big, I'll include the whole fight, but let's see what else I can get out of this spot with the uh, last four half of a crawlers I have before I gotta skedaddle. I'd like to stay forever, but there's only one thing more important than fishing, boys and girls, and that's family. Aww, aww, and then this is so sweet. We can got this so sweet. But it's true. And stuff. That's bigger. Right next to the rocks. Didn't even see him, even though it's pretty shallow and pretty clear, but just had been seeing a lot of fish right next to the rocks, so just plopped it down and smokered. trash fish of some sort of variety. I just don't know which variety yet, but one of our last night crawlers and definitely should have left like five minutes ago. So this will kind of be the end. We'll see what this is first, hopefully. Oh, nice. He was just hiding in the rocks. Old channel kitty. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Um, but yeah, wasn't uh, necessarily as great as it has been in the past as far as walleyes go, but none of the walleyes pulled out line like this, so I will certainly take this as well. <laughs> My line is like wrapped around his fin, so I don't really have control of his head. He is hooked in the mouth, but it's wrapped around his fin. Um, but yeah, less walleyes, which is fine. Less bites on the artificial, which is expected. But this is why you always bring a box of night crawlers, boys and girls. We went from only having a couple fish, a couple missed fish, to I probably caught about, I don't know, at least 20 fish on the uh, night crawler. This is by far the scrappiest fish I've caught here, so. We will take him right in the snoot, right in the snoot. I've been seeing some big, big carp swim right in front of the rock. So I just figured instead of casting and drifting, I'd just drop it off the edge and no sooner after than it hit the bottom. Old channel rat ate it, but I got to get going. I'll make this short and sweet. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Once again, shout out to Johnny Boy for giving me a heads up that there's a lot of fish down here. Said I was never going to make videos down here, but the past couple days have been pretty fun. I've enjoyed it a lot and hopefully you guys have too, but yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. Except for thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.